Today I'll show you how to knit seed stitch. This is a great beginner stitch for knitters who have mastered the knit and purl and are looking for a new stitch to try out. In this tutorial, I'll show you the easiest way to knit seed stitch from beginning to end. I'll also share a pretty cool hack that allows you to knit seed stitch without needing to look at a pattern. Seed stitch is reversible, which is great for blankets and scarves, and it's also a one row repeat, so it couldn't be easier. Seed stitch is made up of the knit and purl stitches. Here's a quick refresher on these two essential stitches. A purl stitch looks like a little bump, or like a purl, like the ones in the ocean. Whereas a knit stitch looks like a little V shape. That's the best way to tell a knit from a purl. Knits are flat Vs, while purls are little bumps. If you can identify knit and purl stitches in your knitting, then knitting seed stitch will be so much easier for you. So I've got my yarn here and a pair of needles and we're gonna cast on. So I'm gonna cast on an odd number of stitches. So that's very important. In order to make this a true one row repeat, we'll need an odd number. So here I've just made my slip knot and I've put my needle onto the slip knot and that makes my first cast on stitch. So now I'm just going to use the long tail cast on to cast on an odd number. 14 and 15 and that is an odd number of stitches. Great, so let's get started. Our one row repeat goes like this. Asterisk, knit one, purl one, repeat from asterisk to last stitch, knit one. Now this is the proper way of knitting seed stitch, which is following the one row pattern. And we're gonna do it the proper way first. And then I'll show you my little hack that is awesome. But anyway, we'll do the proper way first. Okay, so we're going to start our row with a knit one. And then we're gonna bring our yarn up front and do a purl one. Okay, here we go, purl one, great. And now we're going to repeat from the asterisk. So we're gonna go all the way to the beginning, which is a knit one. All right, knit one, and then a purl one. Okay, here we go. And then go back to the asterisk, okay? Knit one and purl one. Okay, so you can kind of see how this goes, right? We're basically going to knit one, purl one to the last stitch, which will be a knit one. Okay, so let's do this. Knit one and yarn to the front, purl one. So let's repeat this to the last stitch. And here's my last stitch on my left needle and we are going to knit one. There we go. So you've just completed the first row of seed stitch. So now what we would do is turn our needle over and repeat it all over again, <laughs> okay? Because this is a one row repeat, you just repeat this one row over and over and over again until you get the length that you want of your knitting. So let's do it again. We're gonna go knit one. Here we go, knit one. And then purl one. All right, purl one. And then back to knit one, <laughs> and then purl one, okay? And we would repeat this knit one, purl one until we get to the last stitch. All right, here's my last stitch, and we are going to knit one. Great, so that is pretty much all there is to seed stitch. We repeat this one row repeat, knit one, purl one, to the last stitch, knit one, that's it. So this is your first way of doing seed stitch, which is following this one row pattern to a T, and that's fine, there is nothing wrong with it. However, there is another way of knitting seed stitch that I find much easier, and I will show you how to do it. For this second method, cast on any number of stitches, odd or even, it don't matter. Then we'll knit the first row by doing a knit one, purl one rib, also known as one by one rib, to the end of the row. So here I've cast on 14 stitches and I'll start with a knit one. Then a purl one. Knit one purl one, alternating between knitting one and purling one. So your last stitch can be a knit or a purl, it doesn't matter. All right, once this first row is done, no more pattern is needed. All you need to remember is this one line, knit the purls and purl the knits. So let's try it. The first stitch here is a purl stitch and I can tell because of this little bump, right? 
So because it's a purl stitch, I'm going to knit into it. Okay, I knit my purls. Now this is a knit stitch. I can tell because it's this little flat V shape. So I'm going to purl into it because I purl the nips. This next stitch is a purl stitch. I can tell because of this little bump. So I'm going to knit into it, okay? Knit the purls, purl the knits. This next stitch is a knit stitch. I can tell by the little flat V. So because it's a knit stitch, I'm going to purl into it, okay? Purl the knits, knit the purls. The next stitch is a purl stitch. So I'm going to knit into it, knit the purls, okay? So you're kind of doing the opposite of what the stitch is. If the stitch is a purl stitch, I'm not going to purl into it. I'm going to knit into it. If this is a knit stitch, I'm not going to knit into it. I'm going to purl into it. I'm doing the opposite of what the stitch is. This is a purl, so I'm going to knit. This is a knit, so I'm going to purl. The last stitch is a uh, purl stitch, so I'm going to knit into it. Okay? So there we go. This is how you knit seed stitch without using a pattern just by recognizing your stitches. Now, if this second method freaks you out, then no worries. Just use the first method. Okay, so that's it for knitting seed stitch flat. Next, we'll go over knitting it in the round. To knit seed stitch in the round, we're going to cast on an odd number of stitches. So I've got 39 stitches cast onto my circular needle and 39 is an odd number. First, I'm going to put on my stitch marker right here. I'm going to use this to mark the beginning of the round. And now we can start round one. All right, so round one, we're going to knit one. So I'm just going to stick my needle in and do a knit one into my first stitch. And then I'm going to do a purl one. Here we go, purl one. And that is the repeat for round one. Knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. So I'm going to continue that across the entire round until I get to the last stitch right here, at which point I will knit one. All right, so that's all there is to round one. And here is my last stitch and knit one. And that is the end of my round one. And I'll switch my stitch marker over to my right needle. And now we can work round two. All right, so round two, we're going to start with a purl one. So I'm going to bring my yarn up front. And then I'm going to push my needle into that first stitch from the top to the bottom and wrap my yarn around. And there is my purl stitch. Cool. All right, so next we're going to do a knit one. Okay. And that marks the repeat for round two, purl one and knit one. And we're just gonna repeat that across the whole round until we get to the last stitch, at which point we will do a purl one. All right, so this is the official stitch pattern for seed stitch in the round, but you can use the little hack that I mentioned earlier, which is knitting into the purls and purling into the knits. So at this point, if you want to do it that way, you can forget the pattern entirely because you've got the first round to set your foundation. And at this point, you can just look at your stitches and do the opposite of what it is. So this is a purl stitch. So we're going to knit into it. And this is a knit stitch. So we are going to purl into it. All right. So we're doing the opposite of what the stitch is. Purl stitch, we're going to knit. Knit stitch, we're going to purl purl stitch, we're going to knit. Knit stitch, we're going to purl, and that will get you seed stitch. All right, so we're nearing the end of round two, and the last stitch we are going to purl one, because the pattern says so, and also because that was a knit stitch, and we purl into knit stitches. All right, so that is the end of the two round repeat for seed stitch. If you're following the pattern, you can just go right back to round one. And if you're doing the hack, then all you need to remember is that you're gonna do the opposite of what the stitch is. So that is how you knit seed stitch flat and in the round. Thanks so much for watching. Like this video if you liked it and subscribe to see more videos like this one. I'm Davina from sheepandstitch.com. Come on over and visit the website if you haven't already. There's a lot of good stuff over there for your perusal. Thanks for watching, happy knitting, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.